our people have simple wants and needs. It's very hard to explain, but nature is one of those things that the calm, the way we are with it, like all we think about, I'm stuck in the city at the moment, all I think about is getting to the country and just looking at the trees, the, my big river, my big Maclay River. Beautiful things. I know there's nature and that and it's around the city, but it's a different feeling when you, you're on the land and it's your land and like even when you get near it, you can feel it. Even if you're not looking out the window or anything, you feel it. It comes across you from the sky flying up there and even on the trains and pl um, buses. You smell it. You can smell certain areas up the coast have different smells. You have like a more of a, a normal gum tree that, but then you get up to the central coast and you have peppermint gums. You can smell gums all the way when you travel. Little things like that that uh, you know you're getting home. You see that mountain range and you go, oh, we're just over the other side of that. Uh, you travel, you see the animals, you see maybe dead animals and they're your little brothers and sisters that are passed. That's how I feel about the animals and the trees and things like that. They're, they communicate with each other. Uh, there's so much with nature. You, you can actually feel it. You can feel something in the air. Well, this is how I feel. I knew it too late. Oh, oh. Yeah, you feel things in the air and, and part of you. And you feel safe. Um, you're I never alone. No, you're never alone. I, one time I went home and I got dropped off at the bus stop um, five kilometres from Kempsey. You know, and it was in the middle of the morning and no one was there and I'm going, I'm going to walk. And everyone's going, oh, watch everybody, they're all on drugs, they're all on this. You know who walked with kangaroos? And one crow followed me a long way. He walked with, I knew I wasn't alone. I knew I was safe. Yeah. The animals were there and it was one of the most beautiful spiritual times of my life because I walked into Kempsey. I walked into my hometown and I seen the pines and the in the fog and it was very spiritual. It was beautiful. And at nature and mapping, we map in our own minds. Another story I had when traveling, traveling to Cairns and Darwin, I actually, in my own mind, I've mapped the, like Australia. I've still got to go over the other side. But I've mapped that in my m mind. I know these places. They seem to be... I know you, deja vu. It's like you've been there before. It's like the connection. Down here I had um, a tawny frog mouth that used to bring her babies every year to my place right in the city. I went up there to Darwin and the tawny frog mouth is the Yarragon totem. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. And I connected more like through that with the animals and that it, it was beyond people. It was like the land and the animals were giving me their, not blessing, but like, yeah, oh, you're right here. You're good. Yeah. It's like you're at home here. We're here. Yeah. And that's how I feel with nature. If I see in nature, I feel at home. Like I know it might not have anything to do, might have something to do with my father's, but even in London, when I seen the foxes in the parks and things like that, that was because that's another native animal somewhere else. But it was amazing, and I looked for other creatures overseas. You know, I noticed all our gum trees everywhere, uh, Greece, America. 
everywhere. You know, those little things like that, you looked and you didn't feel at home because there's a gum tree there. So, how did we get into do doing this for Charles Church? What's the story? The story there, I think there was a woman called Lisa Roberts that come along one day, you known for many years, going to the college and uh, becoming a sister um, with us here at Eora. Um, it's also from the aspects, both are interested in art, love art, love creativity, um, uh, nature, uh, Lisa's very much into nature as well and like I've never seen a, a, I've got a quill hanging off my light, off my fan here, a little paper quill and it's, just love it, love it to death. I put the fan on and it goes, it swims. 